Hello everyone, this is Dr. Stan Gross. I'm president and co-founder of Sano Global Nutrition. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about essential fatty acids, especially omega-3 fatty acids. And about our product, our Mega Omega-3. You know, there's a lot of different food sources that have omega-3 fatty acids. And if we put it into our diets on a regular basis, well, we would see benefits from it, wouldn't we? What's the problem? We don't do it enough. You know, things like sunflower seeds or flax seeds, beans, beans of all sorts. Navy beans are high, but their black beans are also very high. Pecans, other types of tree nuts like walnuts, cold-pressed olive oil, cold-pressed coconut oil, the coconut oil is a medium chain fatty acid, so it's kind of a balanced oil on its own. Leafy greens, you don't think of leafy greens having fats in it, but they do. And, and squash, and squash seeds, never forget those. The pepitos, those are, are really good in omega-3 fatty acids. So we have food sources. The problem is putting enough of it into our diet to make up for the lack of balance that we have in our dietary protocols, right? So omega-3s, man, they are really good for cardiovascular health. If you get your omega-3s up, you're going to lower your general triglycerides. More of the fat that you have in your body is going to be used as fuel. You're going to clear out your cardiovascular system, reduce the placking, increase your heart health, so much increase your circulation so much can't talk about it enough for brains i'll tell you what for the entire nervous system omega-3s are just powerful as far as making sure the synaptic clefts are clear that your brain thinks clearly your brain uses fatty acids as part of the fuel to bring on hormonal changes to to balance emotions and so forth. Joint in the immune system. All of your joints have to have lubrication. What's the best lubricator in the world? Well, it's oil, isn't it? But we don't want industrial grease in there. We want the type of fatty acids that actually make a difference in our synovial fluid. Within our synovial fluid, we have to have a balance between omega-3s and omega-6s. Same with our immune system. Our immune system counts heavily upon a balance of omega-3s and omega-6s. Omega-3s as far as vision in the eye, vitally important because if your 6s are too high, that brings on inflammation in the ocular system, in the visual system. So, macular degeneration, retina disease, and so forth, it's more than just lubrication. It, it has to do with synaptic health, the neurological health of the eye, and viscous, viscosity of the fluid that holds the eye into its shape. And then weight management, of course. If you have the wrong kind of fats, guess what? It'll show. So if you have a balance of omega-3s and omega-6s, guess what? It's easier to lose weight. Amazing, isn't it? So why do we need fatty acids? Well, there's a far-reaching issues into the body. Nothing really happens in the body without the activity of fatty acids. They're part of just about every function. So the people would say, well, I want to eliminate all fats from the diet. No, no, you don't. You want to eliminate bad fats from the diet. You want to eliminate trans fats or highly saturated fats. But you want omega fatty acids, omega-3 in particular. You also need a certain amount of omega-6, but as you'll see, we don't have any problem with that one. So if you're deficient, you'll have fatigue, a lack of energy, feeling down, aching muscles and joints. Over the long term, you have a failing immune system. You have a failing neurological system. You know, you'll, you'll have all kinds of different health issues. So as you're looking at your body 
it's about balance, isn't it? So lipid function and metabolism, you know, as you take in fats, fats and lipids, same thing, uh, fat globules are broken down into lipids, lipids are broken down into small lipid chains that are used as what? As fuel. But it also helps with uh, connective tissue, it helps with elimination of waste. Uh, it binds to proteins becoming lipoproteins, which are important as far as cell structure. You know, so we need all of these different aspects of, of lipids or fats. You know, insulation, uh, energy. All of this has to do with the balance of fats. I can't tell you how important this is or stress it enough to you. So you're looking at a, an MR. Uh, the magnetic resonant of a terribly obese person, right? At the bottom right corner, you see a picture of what a normal MRI would appear. And you see all this adipose, all this extra fat tissue. You see enlarged heart. You see constriction of the internal organs. You, you see uh, just a, a failure taking place. Even in the brain, you see fatty deposits. You see a huge fatty liver sitting in there. You know, so balancing the right kind of fats and deriving them from healthy sources, that, that's the wisest choice we can hope for. So omega-3s are anti-inflammatory in nature, and omega-6 is pro-inflammatory. Well, why would we want pro-inflammatory? Well, if you weren't taking in enough omega-6s, you wouldn't know when something was going wrong in the body. Your pain sensation would decrease. We need to be aware when things are going wrong, and that's what omega-6s help us do. Polyunsaturated fatty acids, you know, we hear about that, you know, those are the choices that we want in our snacks and so forth. Yeah, but again, the problem is that we take a polyunsaturated fat and then we heat it up, it becomes uh, saturated. As soon as you heat an oil, it hydrolyzes and becomes saturated. So you need to eat them natural. It controls blood clotting. It builds cell membranes, uh, not just in the brain, but the entire body. And it promotes normal growth and development among babies. And then when we become adults, it helps with regeneration when we're injured. injured. <laughs> the role of omega-6s, brain function, normal growth and development in young people, and also to alarm the body to make sure the immune system understands when we've been invaded. And then the research uh, shows a role in blood pressure, rheumatoid arthritis, and depression. In a perfect world, we take in only one part omega-6 and four parts of omega-3. That's the healthy ratio. We don't always reach that. You know why? Well, if we're looking at oh, omega-6 to 3 ratios, we're looking at a 1.5 to 1 in uh, range-fed eggs from chickens. Whereas the supermarket egg is 20 to 1. Oh, that's a little bit high, isn't it? Grass-fed beef is 3 to 1. Or leaner cuts can be as little as 1 to 1. But industrial beef, 21 to 1. So as you can see, we have to get particular with our grocery cart. And we have no problem finding omega-6s. Just look through this list and see if this is something you have seen lately. Chances are the answer is yes. So we really don't have to worry about omega-6s. We need to curb the wrong type of fats we take in and increase our omega-3s. Our omega-3 complex, our mega omega-3 complex, is a balanced formula that it was derived from small cold water fish. Now, cold water fish like 
sardines, anchovies, and so forth. So the colder the water and the smaller the fish, as it is extracted, the more bioavailable it becomes to us. Adding the right fuel increases your chances of success in attaining wellness. Because it works well in conversion during exercise, it helps through elimination, helps through detoxification, and elimination of toxins in the system. It's your body and it's your choice. And you see on the one side we got all these healthy foods. And it doesn't mean you have to be vegetarian, no, but you have to make wise and healthy choices. Whereas on this side, you know, we see a lot of fast food, a lot of snacks and so forth. You know, a slightly bigger frame, huh? So, I'll bet you have questions. I'm more than willing and, and look forward to receiving your questions. That's what this is all about. We're learning together, and I hope you're having as much fun with this as I. I'll talk with you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.